Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is 2019 paper two, question five. Uh, it starts off with a pretty straightforward construction, but part B definitely is trickier. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here's our question. Uh, we're asked to construct and enable the ortho center of the triangle ABC and to show any construction lines clearly. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're first of all just going to define an ortho center in case you didn't know. So an ortho center is where three altitudes intersect. And an altitude is a perpendicular line from a vertex to its opposite side. So uh, all we need to do to find the ortho center is actually just to do two altitudes because uh, doing a third one just isn't necessary. So we're just going to use C and A uh, because that's what the views in the American scheme. But you could use B if you wanted. So there is our line perpendicular to BC which crosses at the vertex A, and uh, make sure that's a right angle. Uh, the easy way to do this, I think, is just use one of your uh, set squares, so like the triangle kind of rulers you get in your math set. And uh, we're just going to extend that line out a little bit, uh, past the vertex there just in case. And one problem we're going to run into is that there's actually uh, no point we can draw the perpendicular from BA because it doesn't go far enough across. So we're just going to extend BA like that, uh, out past where it actually ends. And uh, this is perfectly fine. Uh, this will happen quite often with ortho centers. So here we have the perpendicular line, and we're just going to extend both lines out now until we can find exactly where they cross. So that is this new point here where they cross, and now we're going to call that O. And that is our construction complete. And that's, that's actually it for part A. A pretty straightforward start to the question, and something that you're going to see quite often on paper 2, and that's worth 15 marks. Uh, part B gives us O, which is the center of the circle S. AB is the diameter. We're told B is a tangent. Uh, CD is a chord, and CD is equal to half AB, which I'm sure will be important. And these two lines are also parallel. So we've got to show, in sort of like a proof kind of way, that the angle uh, BEA is equal to some degrees or radians. So we've got to find exactly what it is. So we're looking for this angle out here. We're just going to call that X. So the first thing we're going to note is that uh, DC is equal to OB, and we're told that DC is equal to half AB. And because AB is the diameter and OB is the radius, uh, OB is equal to half of AB also, so OB is also equal to half of AB. Uh, so that's just given. So we know that DC is also the length of the radius. And this means that all these three lines are equal, which means that the triangle ODC is actually equilateral. And because it's equilateral, and we know all the angles are the same, and they're of course 60 degrees. So then if we take the angle ODC, which we now know is 60 degrees, we also know that AOD, which is this angle in here, is 60 degrees as well, just like all of these, uh, because it's an alternate angle, because if you remember, CD is parallel to AB. So that is the angle AOD. And we also know that OA, because it's again, the radius is equal to OD, ma making this triangle actually isosceles as well, although not necessarily equilateral, I don't think. So we have this isosceles triangle now, uh, OAD. And as you might have guessed, this angle here is also 60. So it actually looks like this triangle is also equilateral after all. And we also know that the angle ABE so this angle here is 90 degrees because uh, we have the diameter AB and also uh, this tangent BE. And so the angle between the diameter and a tangent at a point is always going to be perpendicular. So we have that angle. And so we also have the angle at A, which is up here, which means that to find X, which is what we're looking for over here, we just need to do some subtraction. So our leftover angle BEA, which we had previously called X, is just 180 degrees and uh, minus 90 degrees at the tangent and minus 60 degrees which means that it is 30 degrees. So that is the angle BEA, and that's it for part B. So we're finding this angle, you're gonna get 10 marks, and that's the end of this question. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, there's gonna be other similar videos in the description, as well as some other helpful resources, and I'll see you next time.